Hello everybody, Kane here today with another episode of our zoo series, and today we will be adding in two new animals, hopefully, if I if I uh, properly plan this out, we're hopefully going to get both the uh, leopard and the okapi in today, uh, because I completely forgot that I was going to add those in, and they're kind of important, as, uh, well, I've realized I've run into a very interesting zoo planning issue here, where, uh, there's only one route to go now, and that's this way. So yeah, that's kind of fun, kind of interesting. Maybe we'll find a way to extend out here somewhat, but uh, yeah, anyway, that's the plan. We're just gonna try and get these two creatures in and uh, go from there, I guess. I don't really have a, uh, like a, a strict plan for what I'm gonna do with these exhibits or how they're really gonna function, but uh, I guess we'll just get there when we get there. So I'm gonna get started and uh, try and get a bit more of a layout going. All right, we've got a uh, bit more of a plan going on now. Um, so I think this this will serve as the leopards and then uh, oh, copies maybe. I don't really know. Although I've just I've had a I've had a slight idea that probably won't work. And it's probably a bad idea that I don't really want to mention in case I don't do it. But I've just had an idea for something I could do with the leopards. However, with the Okapis, um, I'm not overly sure how this exhibit's gonna work. Um, because I'm 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 now seeing it's maybe a little bit small, but uh, I don't really have much more space because I kind of need the space over here for other exhibits in the future and all this space. So. Yeah, we'll see what happens. Um, but uh, we're probably going to have it just running up into the orangutan exhibit. In fact, it might share similar fencing to the orangutans, um, for at least for a little bit, um, part of it. And uh, yeah, I don't know. I feel like <laughs> I'm just having like a lot of trouble figuring out how, how I'm supposed to make these exhibits look decent and uh, not completely fall apart immediately into... Uh, various bad ideas that don't really accomplish the goals. I think the problem is more just, I definitely did, should have planned this this outer area of the zoo a bit better, or this midsection, or these midsections, I guess they are. It is kind of funny though, I've, I've just kind of realized now, we keep having uh, these little cluster exhibits. Like, originally I guess it started off as this, where we had like little cluster of exhibits surrounded completely by paths. But now we've got one like right here, we've got one right here, and we we have another one here, and I guess another one here, which is kind of funny. I don't know why I pointed that out, but I did because, I don't know, it's weird. Uh, but yeah, anyway, uh, we got the basic ideas down now, so I guess I just gotta kind of figure out how this whole thing is going to meld together. So I'm gonna get back to work and uh, try and come up with an idea that isn't abysmal. All right, so I've, I've done a bit more work here. We've got like fences and stuff and a divider and I don't know, it's it's interesting. It's, it certainly is. Um, I don't know, it feels weird. It both feels like it's turning out very well and on the other hand, very poorly. And I don't know why. But, I mean, at the end of the day, all I can really do about that is just keep keep working on it and uh, hope it all turns out okay. So, yeah, I guess that's just what we're gonna have to do. Um, anyway, what we've got here is uh, we got like this jungle decorated wall divider type thing, so that way we can have oh, copies over here, leopards over here, and the leopards hopefully won't get out because that would be very bad. Now, I know leopards tend to be very arboreal and they like trees, that might be a problem with this enclosure because I didn't build it to have a roof over it. A problem I really should have thought about originally, but didn't. So I'm not sure how I'm gonna do the trees in here. Um, if they're gonna be just maybe like one tree that's like kind of tall and has maybe a platform or something. I'll have to find a place where I could actually realistically put that, maybe like right in the center or something. We'll have to see. Um, obviously we still have to do the shelters for both of them. Uh, everything else over here is turning out pretty well. The Okapi exhibits pretty fine. Um, I've decided to go for a bit of a different fence style here, I guess. It's, I don't know, it feels very much like just a shrunk down version of this. 
uh, where I where I threw in a few more uh, dividers, and I think it's turning out okay. I guess it's like a mix between the crocodile exhibit and the uh, the grill exhibit. So I think it turned, you know, it looks all right. Um, it's definitely somewhat distinctive, and that's that's a good thing to go for with this. Um, plus, I'm thinking the cool thing this could allow us to do is throw a lot of foliage kind of down this like diagonal line here and then maybe again across like this line here uh, as that will kind of give us a good viewing area down hopefully into like a back crescent almost for from this area and then you obviously get like a another region of viewing around there from this so hopefully that'll look decent i guess i'm also trying to figure out whether or not i'm going to get rid of this bamboo um, part of me wants to keep it, but on the other hand, if I get rid of it, uh, okay, so that, that one just didn't get a string on top of it, um, because I don't know if it'll fit very well with this exhibit, but it, it might do, you never know, I guess. Um, it could fit with a more jungle kind of look. Also, it's kind of weird, I feel like the leopard is, at least in my head, is much more of a savanna animal, or a forest kind of animal. Okay, I'm putting it in the tropical zone. I don't know, I feel like that's kind of odd. Um, so I had been thinking, actually, I guess I'll just mention it because I mentioned it in the last cup. I was thinking of extending the leopard exhibit out over here and creating like a bridge almost. But the problem with that, I've realized, is this exhibit will be really, really tall if I do that. I'm talking like, you know, we're going to have to add in several more blocks up and that's going to look weird. And then I will have to put a roof on this and I don't really have slabs for that. So I'm not sure if I want to do that. So we'll, we'll kind of have to mess around with it a bit more, see what happens. Um, maybe I'll end up doing it, maybe we won't. And uh, yeah, we'll go from there. Anyway, I guess I should probably get back to work. We need to get a lot of terrain done here, as well as the shelters to try and figure out if, like, I don't know what I'm gonna go for with this build. I really want to do a tree for this, but I also feel like, or platforms. Maybe we'll just do platforms instead. Maybe that'll be easier and a bit less difficult to meld into the terrain. We'll have to see. Anyway, I'm gonna get back to work and uh, I'll bring you guys back when uh, hopefully either like the shelters and enrichment stuff here is done or when the terrain's done. Whichever one I end up wanting to do, so yeah. Okay, we're back and we have got some basic upgrades on the builds. Basically, uh, we got the shelters in. Nothing fancy, just you know, stuff that works. Uh, the Okapi one is a bit more of just, I don't know. I don't actually know what I would describe this as. Almost more of like, a, I guess like a horse stable in a way. It's very open. Uh, so yeah, they can just walk in and out whenever they want. I guess we've got a similar one over by the, uh, the llamas. Uh, and then the leopard one is, well, just like this. Uh, speaking of the leopard exhibit, I have got a kind of fallen tree. Basically, I just lifted this out of the, uh, Spectacled Bear exhibit, and I think, you know what, I, th I think it looks all right. Um, I tried to keep it somewhat far away from the railing, and you know what, it may not be perfect, but I think it'll work pretty well, considering I'm gonna avoid putting anything else it could climb up in the exhibit, so this will probably be the tallest object in the enclosure, but I think it looks pretty good. Should be a cool place to watch them, I was gonna say perch. I don't think that's the correct word for it, though, is it? I don't actually know what you refer to it, uh, with the term for a cat sitting on... I'm, I'm going to use the word perch, because I feel like that's probably the best word. But yeah, cat's just perching up there. Um, and then we have the Okapi exhibit, where I did a bit more work. Basically, I just threw some base, small rock structures in here and some leaves. Kind of got started on the decorating. Uh, but yeah, no, that's about all I have left to do, is just get the decorations done, get the texture work done, and then uh, these exhibits should be finished and ready to ready to go, which is uh, pretty cool. Pretty excited to just get these done with. Um, I guess I need to finish the pathway and bring all that railing all the way along here, and then eventually connect these two areas up. But uh, yeah, we're getting pretty close to being done now. Uh, <laughs> man, I feel like it's, it's I don't know, for some reason, and maybe people have noticed this already, but it feels like I haven't commentated in about like six weeks. So I feel like I'm, it's very weird. But uh, yeah, anyway, maybe I should switch that out for Palisade. I'm just thinking now, maybe I will do that. Anyway, um, 
yeah, just uh, I guess I just got to finish that last little bit, and uh, we'll get the animals in. All right, everybody, and here we are with the final builds. Um, <laughs> I think they've turned out okay in the end. They're not my favorites. I, I definitely think there could have been more that I could have done, but I also just don't know what that is at this point. I'm, I'm, I'm just kind of dead confused as to where I would go from here. I think... I think I should have really just given all this space to one of the exhibits and that probably would have been better. Maybe we'll move the leopards or something and it'll get its own exhibit somewhere else, but then it's kind of a problem of I don't really know where I want to put any more exhibits for the leopard or another exhibit for the leopard uh, because everything over here is kind of the last couple areas I want to build, which is basically like the North American area and then one building area. Um, which will probably actually be reversed, so the building will be over here, and then the North American area will stretch out over here. But yeah, no, it's just kind of, kind of odd. So yeah. But anyway, um, we do have finished exhibits. Um, vegetation-wise, this one's a bit more sparse, just because obviously we don't want too many tall trees that they can go up uh, and thus escape from. So it's kind of just low shrubland. Also. I did not realize until this clip, I don't think I had the texture pack on this entire video, which is a bit weird. Um, but yeah, anyway, uh, mostly just low shrubland in here, so we got like a couple of logs, some vine type leaf structures, a couple of bushes and whatnot, you know, just basic stuff. Um, but I think that'll be okay, it'll give the leopards a bit more of a, uh, oh that's cool. A, uh, I yeah, will just do two today, I guess. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I feel like that'll look pretty good. Um, and yeah, I just got a good little exhibit. Um, it is kind of weird using iron bars. I know someone's probably going to be like, oh, you know, it's... Uh, my goodness. Oh, I think that's just my audio is like really loud. Okay, yeah, it's just my audio. Um, someone will probably complain that it's not high enough visibility, but I mean, I feel like this is... Like for an above ground big cat enclosure, this is what you're going to see for the majority of it, just cause, you know, that's that's a bit more safe. Um, anyway, over here, of course, we have our uh, Okapi exhibit, which is a bit more dense. I, I did kind of realize halfway through, I ended up deleting two trees because, I don't know, I was like, this is a bit too dense, I think, for a zoo exhibit. But yeah, anyway, uh, pretty typical, just tropical exhibit. Um, I did forget to add a water area in so we just threw the really long water trough in the uh in the shelter because that worked out pretty well i'd say but yeah let's get a, a couple of these guys in i don't actually know what mod they're from but probably one of the mods <laughs> well obviously from one of the mods i maybe you know i can't actually think of which one it would be but they do look pretty cool by the way the leopards are from uh untamed wilds i believe but yeah, I don't actually remember what mod the copies are from, so I'm sure someone knows. You can let everyone else know in the comments if you want. Uh, but yeah, they look alright. <laughs> They're not like as good as the Zawa ones, but not bad either. But yeah, that's kind of cool. We've got two, our last two main African animals. And I mean, I'm sure, I'm sure I'm missing a couple of animals, or African animals somewhere. Uh, I don't know which ones at this point, I've kind of forgotten. I'm sure lots of people suggest ones that I don't even have a mod for. So, yeah, if you're if you're gonna suggest something I don't have a mod for, uh, probably not gonna happen. But I think I am gonna stop adding in African animals at this point. I kind of want to move on to the next couple areas that I wanted to get done and kind of move towards finishing the zoo up because uh, this project definitely expanded far past what it was originally meant to be, which is kind of hilarious. It's originally just meant to be purely Alex's moms. We do like 15 episodes and then be done, but uh, yeah, no, we've done a few more than that. But anyway, um, yeah, that's all for today. So uh, let me know what you guys think of these builds. Anyway, these they could be improved or things you think I should add to them. And uh, let me know what you guys like to see next episode. Until then, thank you all for watching. Hope you've all enjoyed. And until next time, guys, see ya.